does Mr. Trudeau understand this viscerally, and is, is it your sense, after speaking with him about this and going to Ottawa to address it with him, that he understands and he supports at least the fundamentals about the, uh, the project? Well, you're right. I did make this one of our top uh, urgent priorities when meeting with the Prime Minister. I took Team Alberta of half of our cabinet uh, down to Ottawa just before Christmas, and this was one of the top five issues I raised with the Prime Minister, because I said to him very uh, bluntly, Roy, that if the Prime Minister uh, vetoes this project after all of the approvals, after the 10 years and the hundreds of millions of dollars spent in a, on it, on the, after the improved environmental performance in this proposal, after the massive Aboriginal support, if he uh, opposes this and vetoes it arbitrarily, he will be sending a message to Alberta and the rest of the country that he really meant what he said in Peterborough about three years ago, that he wants to, quote, phase out the oil sands. And, and I said, Prime Minister, no one in your position would ever stand up and say that we need to, quote, phase out the Ontario auto sector or phase out the Quebec aviation sector, both of which are industries that actually produce massive amounts of CO2 emissions, Roy. So uh, I said this to the Prime Minister, and he just said, um, well, we are, we're going to study it. Like, he didn't give me any response, uh, and we, 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 are, we are truly concerned. Uh, it's a little more context, uh, Roy, on the environmental side. Prime Minister Trudeau had negotiated with my predecessor, Premier Notley of the NDP, uh, what was called a 100 megaton cap for e carbon emissions from the oil sands. Right now, we're at about 70 megatons. The Tech Frontier mine would add approximately four. That would take us to 74 megatons, 25% uh, below what the federal government, the Liberals, had expressed as our maximum emissions cap for the oil sands to, to achieve Paris, etc. So if he blocks uh, Tech Frontier... Uh, because of carbon emissions, he's basically telling us that there is no future for Canada's oil sands and that instead we are going to leave trillions of dollars of value in the ground and hand a global monopoly over energy markets to the OPEC dictatorship. 